The Portland Association of Teachers, the union, rallying ahead of a PPS school board meeting, urging the board to reconsider cuts to special education. This is Queen 6 News at 10. I'm Elizabeth Din. I'm Jeff Gianola. We sent Elise Haas to get details on how these cuts will affect the young students. And Elise, what did you find out? Well, Jeff, PBS has proposed cutting special education teams, and these are teams who help with things ranging from speech, feeding to adaptive physical education. And right now it's leaving some students wondering what their experience is going to be like at school moving forward. Our district has proclaimed Union members rally outside the PPS building as special education teams are on the chopping block of budget cuts. So that's still going to leave four, five of us uh, without a job for next year. Mike Carlip is a behavior analyst helping kids who may act out in class. The majority of his team was unassigned for next school year. But he says it's not about his lack of job security. It's about the lack of supports for students next year. PPS plans to cut special ed teams like assistive technology specialists for nonverbal students, the feeding team, adaptive PE, behavior analysts, and multilingual supports to speech pathologists. So all these vital, vital services for some of our most impacted students with the greatest needs are being eliminated. Students raise their voices about these cuts to their schools. I have cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy is hard. My disability makes it hard for me to walk and run and affects my handwriting. At school, kids bully me. Adapted PE teachers make me feel like I can do things other kids can do at PE and makes me feel like an athlete. For example, our library assistant, Miss Tori, is an amazing member of our school, but her position as library assistant is being eliminated. Library assistants don't just fill bookshelves with books, they fill our hearts with memories. A speech pathologist who is also unassigned says she wants to make sure parents are aware of how this will impact their student. When, when change does happen, it's usually from parents advocating, so I just want to make sure that they have a chance to do that before it's too late. And the school district says that they do have to make roughly $30 million in cuts, but they say that's not the primary driver for these staffing shifts. They say that they're actually rolling out a new model for their special education program and having students with special needs go to their neighborhood schools. The district also says that any student that is on an individualized education program, also known as IEPs, will have their needs met. Reporting live tonight, Elise Haas. Queen Six News. Yeah, Annalise, it goes to show this is difficult for everybody involved here. Thank you.